What's up, 502 crew? Welcome back to the channel. Ty, Ryan, Nick, back as always with another reaction. If you want to join the 502 crew, we need you to like, comment, and hit the subscribe button so we can grow the channel. But don't forget to hit the notification bell. Ding. 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 All right, so continuing the Halloween marathon, <sighs> That's we right. have the Edgar Winter Group Frankenstein. So this is more than appropriate. Do I sound like Frankenstein? <sighs> Good impression. <laughs> <laughs> I was more like the Grudge, sorry. Uh, have you guys ever heard of this band? No. No. Never. Mm -mm. Ever. All right, so... Uh, Please inform me. Edgar Holland Winter uh, was born in 1946 in Beaumont, Texas. Ooh. Both he and his older brother Johnny were born with albinism. They are albinos. Mm. Mm. Uh, Winter is known for being a multi-instrumentalist, keyboardist, guitarist, saxophonist, and percussionist, as well as a singer. Uh, Multi-dimensional. In late 1972, Winter brought together Dan Hartman, Ronnie Montrose, and Chuck Ruff to form the Edgar Winter Group, who created such hits as the number one Frankenstein, which we're doing today, and Free Ride. Y'all have heard that song, right? Come on and take a free oh, yeah. ride. Free Classic. ride. Yeah. We'll probably do that in the future. Uh, Ryan, you have the lyrics pulled up, right? No. I was oh. informed there was none. Yeah, there's no lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> he got you there. Yeah. Um, okay, so Frankenstein is one of the most famous instrumental rock songs. It got its title because of the difficult editing that went into the song. It became a monster when it was pieced together in the studio. Winter said, when we were editing in the studio, back in those days when you edited something, you physically had to cut the tape and splice it back together. So it was all over the control room, draped over the backs of chairs and the couch. We were making fun of it, trying to figure out how to put it back together, saying, here's the main body, the leg bones connected to the thigh bone, etc. Then Chuck Ruff, my drummer, says, wow, man, it's like Frankenstein. As soon as I heard that, I went, wow, that's it. The monster was born. Mm. Wow. Uh, this was the first hit song to use a synthesizer as the lead instrument. The band The Who incorporated synths into Won't Get Fooled Again, but it's the star of the show on Frankenstein. That's right. Um, so Winter played many of the instruments on this track, including keyboards, saxophone, and timbales. Wow. You like that word, don't you? Timbales. <laughs> a lot of instruments. So this is from the album They Only Come Out at Night, which went double platinum. Uh, this is in 1972, and it's the closing track on the album. That's how you end it. Yeah. So, they Only Come Out, Frankenstein. So let's get into this. Continuing the Halloween marathon, the Edgar Winter Group, Frankenstein. Sounds great in little, this. A little, uh, I was like, oh, okay. I, All right. I've definitely, the flow. I've definitely heard the dun 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 yep. dun 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 Is this the originator right here? The, yeah, this is a pretty big song. So All that, right, then. That's why I, like, I was like, if they've heard this, I'm not going to be... Really I haven't ha heard all the other parts. I've definitely heard that little yeah. mid uh, bridge part. This has definitely been in commercials, movies, a bunch of times. Football was, games, everything else. I was gonna say, you know, it sounds like it sounds like in a movie where they like first they paint into a bar. Like this is a live band. This this is what they're playing. This <laughs> song is exactly what they're playing. Yeah, okay. okay. this is exactly what it sounds like. Just going to a bar. This chill bar. Just somebody's playing. This is what I hear. <laughs> I love how everything is loud. In this, the guitar is loud. Oh, yeah. The bass is loud, which I love when the bass is loud because sometimes it kind of gets overlooked. Oh, for sure. You know, 
Don't Sucked overlook the bass. That's Tyler's uh, favorite. Uh, yeah, right there. bass is my thing. It's the glue. It it's is. the glue of the band. <laughs> Holds us together. Uh, and then, of course, the drums and the synth keyboard, man. Ooh. Yeah, that was my favorite one. <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> so um, this is rocking out, but at the same time, uh, this kind of has a disco-ish feel to me. Yeah. And don't kill me. I'm not saying it's disco. Because you know somebody in the comments is going to be like, this isn't disco. What are you talking about? I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm just saying it kind of has a groovy vibe to it. Yeah. You know? Dun, 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 dun. It gives a good feeling. Like, like is this 70s? Yes. Is this? Yeah, it, yeah, it's got the 70s feel. Yeah. And I can just imagine in my head, like, Scooby doing the Mr. Gang just... Jinkies! Know, have, <laughs> jamming to this song. Just, <laughs> what? I mean, that's just what I think of. Yeah, you know, Because Scooby-Doo, you know how they're portrayed. It's the 70s or whatever, yeah. and it's groovy, baby. Yeah, I can you know see a hit, like a hippie driving down the road, and this song comes on, and they just crank it. So, my qu- <laughs> I actually have a question for our older audience. Was this song played at, like, dance parties or even clubs or anything like that? Because, to me... This kind of sounds like people who like to get down on the dance floor. Like, they could get down to this. I mean... I could. So, that's my question, is uh, was this played at dance parties and stuff like that? It could definitely be played at a Halloween party. Yeah. That's a given. But, uh, yeah, let's run that back from the beginning. Uh, Everybody's just killing it, so... I like how the drums come in like that. I need to learn how to keyboard. Wow. Something. That keyboard is ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, the sounds that uh, he makes in this song with that thing. Just Makes for, you say wow. Yeah, it's incredible. Wow. That's what the instrument sounds like it's saying. <laughs> wow. Exactly. Wow. It's, it's like, like it's, it's talking. <laughs> that was the joke. It's like it's talking. <laughs> There it is, the top of the symbol. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Saxophone, baby. Yeah, that's one of my favorite instruments right there, baby. You ain't oh. playing around, man. This is this might go on my playlist. <laughs> this may, just because of that, just that part. That is, that's hey, fire. Go, sax part. I love sax, man. I'm telling you. Going from, sax. Go, <laughs> I mean, and this this is him doing that. So he's on the keyboard, yeah. And then the transition to the sax, that's just elite, man. That is elite musicianship. Mm. And I know you want to run that back. Oh yes, <laughs> please. Brought out the sax on you. Yeah, <laughs> and I heard some cowboy coming up too. So I'm yeah. looking forward to that. Yeah. So. I love Cowboy. I mean, I don't know. How many times on this channel are we going to hear sax? Not much, Probably not, not often. that often. So. Careless. I also this. like the harmonica. If you could play it right. 
Yeah, we're going to, yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about this song. No, no, no. Not here, Harmonica. No, I'm just talking about in general. I like Harmonica's songs, too. Well, we'll definitely get to that, too, but let's run this back. The transition is fire. It's like a whole other person playing this. Sounds like Monsters, Inc. (laughs) Yeah, there it is right there. I did like that. Yeah, all the steel drums. Come on, man. That was nice. Come on, man. The tr- again, the transition from that duet drum solo yeah. back into the keys. Come on, dude. That threw me all the way off. He just went straight drums. I'm like, whoa, what? <laughs> Come on, <man. laughs> And uh, these drums are the drummer on his set, and then Winter has went to, to the timbales. Yeah. And I like how they kind of uh, at Mirror. times mimic... Each other. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's like Simon says. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Du- dueling banjos. Yeah. And uh, this song is one of the best songs. If you're trying to test headphones. Oh, yeah. This, this is, is one of the best songs to test headphones. With this is everywhere. Yeah. There's so many things going on. <laughs> we got to run the drum solo back. And I don't know why, but I think when I first heard this song, I just assumed it was one guy during the drum solo. <laughs> Hearing it now, that sounds. Yeah, I wouldn't blame you. But, so, <laughs> yeah, but it's two guys. But man, it's just fire. Yeah. This way, uh, this way threw me way off. So it's like. So yeah, that was I'm so weird. confused right now. 
I call that an eargasm right there. When did this song come out? 1972. Oh, dude, when people heard this, they were probably like, oh. <laughs> they were probably just saw the new beginning of something. Oh. Yeah, what is this industry? Yeah. So, correct me if I'm wrong, but that sound, <laughs> that is him with not the keyboard, but just the synthesizer itself, and he's just kind of uh, changing okay. the frequencies, yeah. just kind of playing with it. Yeah. That oh, he was playing weird. with it, all right. It's like a dog whistle for humans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I love the kind of bouncy part right after that one. It's pew, pew, pew. Yeah, yeah lasers. That's what he's playing. Lasers everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Like Star Wars. <laughs> oh, man. Could you major? Uh, major. Can I major <laughs> in Star Wars? <laughs> Look, I'm over here. Got me talking about Star Wars. Look, could you imagine like in a light show? Like that part with the light going pew pew. Yeah. And the, whatever he's doing in my oh. ear. I don't know what he's doing in my ear. Would you imagine like a light show with that? I, I would <laughs> That'd hate be to, fire. I would hate to have to be the guy that's <laughs> controlling the lights. <laughs> How could you keep up if you were trying to. <laughs> That made me sweating harder than what they're doing. I, on the stage. I knew when that part came, you guys were gonna be like, "What is that?" Dude, it turned into a like, like they were in like a, a box, and it was like a, it was like a. Um, it's like the, Mike TV from Willy Wonka, when he gets transported from those millions of pieces, <laughs> and they put them back together. Yeah. Hear the particles. Hear the particles that, in there. I bet that's what he was hearing whenever he was being transported into the tiny bitty small TV. Yeah. It's like <laughs> it's like you just went into another dimension. Yeah, it really is. Like, yeah. It's, Obviously, Star Wars, it's kind of goes along. That's what we're going with. Yeah, yeah major. major. But you can see why this song was called Frankenstein, because it's just got so many parts. Right. It's like, where do I put what part where? So, it's really cool. This is like a helicopter. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> the drums still kill me. It's like a video game. Yeah. Battlestar Galactica. Yeah. indeed yeah that's that's phenomenal to me man i mean that really is one of the best instrumentals that better be on that, that better be on apple music that's all i'm saying oh it will be for sure put that on your playlist right now if you haven't done so i mean you're, you're doing yourself a disservice if you if you don't have this song on there what'd you guys think oh i thought it was incredible <laughs> yeah i've uh I, the sax was still my favorite part <laughs> love yeah. my sax I, I do like the sax part. I like the drum solo part. And yeah, I, I like, like Cowbell. And Winter, even though, you know, he's doing the keyboards on this, the sax, <clears throat> the timbales, the synth, which is incredible. But you can see why it's called the Edgar Winter group. Because the whole band was still killing it. Right. Like I said, guitar, bass, drums, they all killed this, man. I mean, what, what else can you say? It's just a fantastic song. You know, it... It's hard to make an instrumental where you can just listen to it. You know, because a lot of people need the lyrics to listen to a... Nobody just wants to hear the instrumental. If you got an instrumental where you can just listen to an instrumental, that's a good That's a good song and a good beat. Yeah, exactly. Good rhythm. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I don't know a whole lot of Edgar Winter Group songs, so if you guys have any suggestions, we'll get to them in the future. You can leave them here on YouTube, or you can check out our social media platforms, which you can always find in the description below. Hello. So until next time, Ty, Ryan, Nick... Usually 502. Peace out.